to the slaughter. And like a lamb dumb before his shearer, so opened he not his mouth. In his humiliation, his judgment was taken away. And who shall declare his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. And the eunuch answered Philip and said, I pray thee, of whom speaketh the prophet this? Of himself or some other man? Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached unto him Jesus. Jesus. And as they went on their way, they came into a certain water. And the eunuch said, See, here is water. What doth hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered, said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And he commanded the chariot to stand still. And they went down both into the water, both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him in the last verse. And when they were come up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught away Philip, that the eunuch saw him no more. And he went on his way, what? Rejoicing. Wow, what a story that is. An angel now speaks to Philip. He's an evangelist, he's a minister. Go to, go into the desert, go to Gaza, go through Jerusalem. And on the way, he met a man from Africa, from Ethiopia, northern part of Africa. And this, this man was a treasure for the queen. He was a finance individual. He, he knew what to do. And why did he go to Jerusalem? To worship there. He had some knowledge. He had much knowledge about the living God. So now, what happens? He's sitting in a chariot. And it seemed like a two-seater chariot. And what was he reading? He was reading from the book of Isaiah. Which chapter was he reading? Chapter 51. 53. Okay. Now, Philip is there and he, he he's listening this a man is reading the scriptures and and philip comes <clears throat> to the ethiopian he says do you know what you're reading do you understand the ethiopian said no i need i need some explanation who is isaiah speaking of, of, of himself or some other individual basically he was saying i need your help i need instruction i need to be taught okay so philip now he, he was preaching about what? Jesus. That was his topic. He didn't, I, I, I doubt if he was speaking about eternal hellfire, about the state of the dead, okay? He's talking about Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And very likely he was talking about the love of God. Don't you think that God loves you, the, the eunuch? He's talking about the cross of Jesus Christ, what he suffered, the beatings that Jesus had, you know? His, his, his own disciples fled him basically jesus was on the cross all by himself it seems like no except for one individual lord remember me <laughs> that gave hope to jesus christ now what is written in isaiah 53 i want to read a few more passages verses 3 and verse 5. this is about jesus christ it's not about some someone else he is despised and rejected of men a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Let's talk about Christ. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities or our sins. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. And I'm sure this made an impression on the eunuch this treasure. Basically, Jesus died for the, for the treasure. He died for the human race. It basically, he paid the penalty for the eunuchs because the wages of sin is death. But Jesus took, took our, our sorrow, our pain. He died for each one of us. And I'd like to read again of Philippians, Acts 8, 36. And as they went on their way they came into a certain water and the eunuch said see here is water what doth hinder me to be baptized what is hindering me What's 
somebody came to me and said, I'm going to be baptized December. So somebody talked to me about an hour ago. He's here now. Okay. I'm going to be baptized in December. I said, well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll have some Bible studies. And he wants to be baptized, this young man. Amen. Amen. All right. So Philip said to the, what did Philip tell the Ethiopian? If you believe with all your heart, you can be baptized. He didn't hinder him. Said, wait a minute, wait a minute. What do you know about the gospel? He knew much because he worshipped in Jerusalem for, for, for a period of time, whether it was a few days, a, a week or so. Now, believe what? What should you believe? The word of God, the manuscripts they, which they had. What else? That Jesus died for the human race, died for to the eunuch. It was... His, his sins, the eunuch sin that put Christ on, on the cross. Have, have you put Christ on the cross? Have you? Brother Thomas, have you put Jesus on the cross? Yes, I did before. He said, yes, yes. What about you? Yes, yes. America. Everyone. Everybody. Everybody put Christ on the cross. <laughs> That's a serious offense. He died for everyone. Yeah. But Jesus forgives individuals, no matter how many sins you've committed. A hundred sins, a thousand, a million. How many sins have you committed today or in your life? How old are you? 55 years old, 65, 32? We put Christ on the cross and we've committed many sins. But God loves us so much. He has died for us. He's died for that eunuch. And I hope that someday, if we're safe, we'll be able to visit with this eunuch and speak to him. And of course, there will be prophets be in wonderful. heaven, Daniel and Abraham, Noah, Samson. You could say bad people that were transformed by, through the grace of Jesus Christ. Right, Mark chapter 16, verse 16 says, He that believeth and is baptized shall be what? Saved. But, is the but, but he that believeth not shall be damned or condemn so you have a choice to believe or not to believe that's our choice i've made the decision years ago to believe now baptism is a very solemn ceremony we connect ourselves to jesus don't we he's our best friend he's our savior in evangelism page 316 one sentence listen to this connection with christ then involves connection with his church okay. Who's the head of the church, America? Jesus, he's the head. Who is the body, Emma? We are, okay. the members of the church, okay? Christ is the head, the body, of the followers of Jesus Christ. Evangelism, page 307 says, Baptism, baptism is a most solemn renunciation of the world. Those who are baptized in the threefold name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, at the very entrance of their Christian life, declared publicly, this is a public setting, that they have forsaken the service of Satan and have become members of the royal family, children of the heavenly king. Wow, nice statement. A sixth Bible commentary, page 1075 says, we are not to think that as soon as we are baptized, we are ready to graduate from the school of Christ. Okay? There must be growth, right? Your mom, you know when she was baptized? I'll give you the date if she forgot. April 14th, 1990. 34 years ago. Is mom still growing? Yes, she's still growing. So she hasn't graduated yet. She, she did not get the diploma yet. Okay. So she's still growing. Today is a very happy day. God the Father is happy. The angels are happy. A Jeremiah, a Jonathan are very happy that they can commit their lives to Jesus Christ. The Nelson family, the Schendel family, all of us here, we're supporting you. We're going to pray for you. The angels are happy. I could go one more step, one more step. There's a vast universe out there, no end. There's innumerable worlds out there i don't know if they're watching this drama here on this earth at this particular location and it's a lovely location and of course i am happy my wife is happy my son is happy 
that Jonathan and Jeremiah want to follow Jesus Christ. To be baptized is the best, best, best decision you can make in life. Did you know that? Yeah. You, know, you buy a car, nice Porsche, $70,000. That's not the best decision you've made. You may get, uh, get into trouble with the law. But besides that, <laughs> this is the decision that we all have to make, you know, sooner or later. It, we're at the, some of us here are at, on the crossroads, not knowing, should I be baptized? Well, in the future, I will get baptized. Well, the question is when, when, when the final test comes, now is the best time. We always say, manana, tomorrow. But it is, we need to make that decision today. So God wants everyone to be saved. He loves everyone and died. And he proved this, proved that he loves us. Now, John 3, 16, I, I believe 99% of us here uh, are familiar with that text, John 3, 6. That's the heart of the gospel. Let's say it together, okay? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but ever rest in life. Yes, that's the heart of the gospel. So it's wonderful, that, that Bible text. So, there's joy in heaven if one sinner repents. And we have two sinners that repented, okay? And there's joy. I wish my eyes would be opened up. I'm, I'm, I'm blind, okay? I cannot see the, the, the dimension out there, the invisible world. I think all of us are blind. Can, can imagine there's angels here. How many angels? But I can't see them. But they are, they are here. And the Holy Spirit is here, the comforter. And God loves us and cares for us very, very much. Um, so it's a beautiful day in nature. It's very peaceful here. It's quiet. Jesus is with us, our big brother. And in closing, I read John 14, verse 6. How many of you know what's written in John 14, <laughs> verse 6? Let me see your hands. Okay. Oh. Jesus said, I am the way the truth, truth and, and the life. life yes it's jesus everything's about jesus jesus is the center of our faith everything that we do so may god bless this baptism may the lord touch everyone's heart also and i hope we will be able to those who have been baptized years ago I hope that we dedicate our lives Amen. again to, to the lord that Amen. that is important and those who have not been baptized i hope it will be soon as that that young man that told me I want to be baptized in December, and I said, "Okay, we'll study. We'll study by uh, over the phone, or we'll study Zoom some way." Amen. And that, that that that's positive. You know, people are reaching out today. They see what is happening in the world. So, that make that decision. Don't wait too long. All right. Today is a, a wonderful day. So, brother Christian, it's a happy day. <laughs> happy day for you and Sandy also, and if Sandy cries, it's, it's because of joy <laughs> that she has. And I'll ask my wife to hold my Bible so you can put it into the case. And uh, Jeremiah, both of us, maybe we can kneel down, and the others can remain standing. And I'd like to kneel. So remain standing if you like. Our Father, which art in heaven, we come to you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. We're thankful that two dear souls, Jeremiah and Jonathan, want to make a covenant with thee through baptism. And Lord, bless them in their life. Bless their family, dad and mom and the relatives, Stephen also. Bless him. We, we pray for Sandy, you know, at this time she's going some health issues that she has. Bless her in a special way. Give her courage and strength. And be with Jeremiah and Jonathan as they share the wonderful gospel of Jesus Christ. Empower them through the Holy Spirit. Equip them to be missionaries for you and that they will be able to share the, the wonderful gospel message with their friends and relatives, whoever they are. And be with the church family here. Bless each one of us who has come here to witness this baptism. Lay your Holy Spirit upon each one of us that we will be strengthened, that we will be strong Christians, and that we will not follow the ways of the world, but follow Jesus. 
And Jesus loves us and wants to take us to a better place where there's no more sorrow, no more pain, no more nothing, Lord, no more accidents and wars and, and also earthquakes and natural disasters, but a perfect place to live, not just a few years, but for eternity. Now bless us as we go into the water. And we pray this in the loving name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 If everyone would turn to number four, just as I am, and then if there'll be silence, um, I feel like I'm going to be cold that time. Get ready for the baptism. So put his hand up and then remain silent during the song. Or maybe Brother Jonathan, upon your profession of faith in the presence of God, the holy angels, and these witnesses, and upon the command of Jesus Christ, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Just as I am in living now, in my soul, no wonder thought, El Jesus Christ, El Jesus Christ, oh well, of God I come. Brother Jeremiah, upon your profession of faith in the presence of God, the holy angels, and these witnesses, and upon the command of Jesus Christ, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Amen.
back to Slokhart School and there we will receive the two baptismal souls. Okay. Yeah. So we will get undressed and get to dress. So we'll meet we'll meet you at the school. Yeah. A short, short service. One more song um, together. John and John, one you guys want to sing one one here or you want to sing at the church? Number at the 12. church. Okay. Number 12. <laughs> 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 follow Jesus. I have decided. Please follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. Go with 